In front of me are the four locks I'll be testing today. They are a master lock for school lockers, a Chinese branded combination lock, a master lock combination lock, and a master lock cable lock for bicycles. Now I have laid them out in roughly the order I believe they will perform. And you can see that all of the master locks say they are tough under fire. And what that is referring to is getting shot by a gun. So let's see how well they do against thermite. Here's what I'm using to make my thermite. Four ounces of 325 mesh aluminum powder and 12.9 ounces of synthetic black iron oxide or iron 23 oxide. And I'm using retarded imperial units because that's all the scale back here is really capable of measuring with. The best way I've found to mix large quantities of very fine powder is to put them in a plastic bag and shake it around. Now obviously don't do this with anything that may be sensitive to static electricity. First up, the master lock rotary combination lock. I'll be attacking this one from the back since that is where it appears the thinnest. The lock does not seem to have opened after the first batch of thermite. Let's go again. The second batch of thermite seems to have been able to melt through the lock and it was able to be opened with a bit of hammering. Next up, the Chinese branded combination lock. As you can see, an aluminum lock really struggles against thermite. It's completely melted. Time to test the master combination lock. The steel casing seems to have survived, but the inner metal housing has popped out. We'll see how this one does after it's cooled down a bit more. Despite the locking mechanism having popped out, this lock is still not open. So let's go for round two.
this time the thermite seems to have made it through the outer casing. Even though the second batch of thermite seems to have been able to completely melt through this outer casing, this lock still will not open. Time for a third run. Upon closer inspection, the entire bottom side of the lock slides right out, so I'd call that a success with the thermite. And finally, the master lock bike lock. After just a few light taps of the hammer, the lock broke open, and so I would call this a success for the thermite. Here are the results. The Chinese branded combination lock took one batch of thermite, as did the master lock bike lock. The master lock school locker lock took two batches of thermite, and the master lock combination lock was the strongest and took three batches of thermite. Now, the conclusion to draw from all of this is that if you want a lock that is secure against thermite, then you should stay away from aluminum locks and choose a beefier steel lock.